Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our topic is tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a potentially serious infectious disease that mainly affect the lungs. The bacteria that cause tuberculosis are spread from person to person through tiny droplet released into the air via coughs and sneezing. Causative agent of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The bacteria usually attack the lungs, but TB bacteria can attack any part of the body such as kidney, spine and brain. Types of tuberculosis. Active tuberculosis disease. Active TB is an illness in which the TB bacteria are rapidly multiplying and invading different organs of the body. Military tuberculosis. Military tuber TB is a rare form of active disease that occurs when TB bacteria find their way into the bloodstream. Third one is latent TB infection. Diagnosis. During the physical exam, your doctor will check your lymph nodes for swelling and use a stethoscope to listen to the sound your lungs make when you breathe. The most commonly used diagnostic tools for tuberculosis is a skin test. Through te blood tests are becoming more uh, commonplace. A small amount of a substance called tuberculin is injected just below the skin on the inside of your forearm. You should feel only a slight needle prick. Now the symptoms of active tuberculosis. These are include a cough that lasts more than three weeks, loss of appetite and unintentional weight loss, fever, chills, night sweat. You may experience other symptoms related to the related to the function of a specific organ or system that is affected. Coughing. A blood or mucus or sputum is a sign of an in tuberculosis of the lungs. Bone pain may mean that the bacteria have invaded your bones. These symptoms can also occur with the other diseases. So it is important to see a healthcare provider and to let them find out if you have TB. Uh, if uh, you think you have been exposed to TB, get a TB test. Now the diagnostic test. Blood test. Blood test can confirm or rule out latent or active tuberculosis. These tests measure your immune system's reaction to TB bacteria. These tests require only one office visit. A uh, blood test might be useful if you are at high risk of TB infection but have a negative response to the skin test. If you have recently received the BCG vaccine. Next is the Imagine test. If you have had a positive skin test, your doctor is likely to order a chest x-ray or a CT scan. This might show white spots in your lungs where your immune system has a uh, world of TB bacteria or it might really uh, uh, it might reveal changes in your lungs caused by active tuberculosis. Next is the sputum test. If your chest x-ray shows sign of tuberculosis, your doctor might take samples of your sputum, the mucus that comes up when you cough. The samples are tested for TB bacteria. Sputum samples can also be used to, uh, to test for drug resistant strains of um, TB. This help your doctor choose the medications that are most likely to work. Getting result of these tests can take 4 to 8 weeks. Now the treatment. If you have latent TB, your doctor might recommend treatment with medications if you are at high risk of developing active TB. For active tuberculosis, you must take antibodies for at least 6 or to 9 months. The exact drugs and length of treatment depend on your age, overall health, possible drug resistance and 
where the infection is in your body most common tb drugs if you have latent tuberculosis you might need to take only one or two types of tb drugs active tuberculosis particularly if uh, it's a drug resistant strain with uh, will require several drugs at once the most common medication used to treat tuberculosis include isoniazid rifamine rif, rif, um, ethambutal and pyrazinamide complicating treatment is essential after a few weeks uh, you won't be contagious and you might start to feel better don't stop taking your tb drugs you must finish the full course of therapy and take the medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor stopping treatment too soon or skipping do uh, skipping doses can allow the bacteria that are still alive to become resistant to those drugs leading to tb that is much more dangerous and difficult to treat a program called directly observed therapy dot can help people stick to uh, their treatment regimen a healthcare worker gives you uh, your medication so that you don't have to remember to take it on your own if you like our channel please subscribe and thank you for watching our video